Okay, so here we have the Nokia 5510 with the very common problem of turning itself off after a couple of seconds. Let's see this one. Turns off. So it doesn't matter what you do, how you can put a new battery in with or without the SIM card. Uh, it doesn't matter, the phone will turn off. Uh, that's because uh, this phone is made out of two parts. So as you can see here, this is the phone part. It looks like a 3310. And the radio and MP3 part is another PCB here at the top that connects to this part here. So when this happens is because the software for the radio has gone bad or the radio chip inside is dead. So this is how you fix that. You will need to connect. I have another one here that's already connected. You need to connect to uh, the F bus port here. If you have a cable like this that takes power from uh, your box, that's not going to work because you will need a uh, real battery connected to the phone for this operation. So if you have one of those cables that uh, you plug the battery in, you can use that. If not, you can connect uh, directly with wires. The thing is, if you have uh, the cable with the battery in, you still need to open it and invert the TX and RX wires. I will put a diagram of the port here. So you will have to uh, invert the TX and RX wires because if you use them as they are originally, that's just going to access uh, this part of the phone. So if you invert them, it's going to access this part of the phone. Okay. To connect to the computer, it has to be through a COM port. So, the serial port, you can use one of these boxes or uh, just a serial cable if you have it. If you have this box, uh, just take RX and TX from the port and ground and make sure to have it switched to F bus and uh, turn off the 5 volt to the port. If you have 5 volt to the port, for some reason that's not going to work. So turn that off. And uh, I have the phone connected here with wires. If you use the original cable and modify it with the fake battery, uh, the phone will turn off and the operation will be interrupted. So for this to work, you need a real battery. So plug that in there and hold it in place like that. You see the wires are still connected there. Yeah? If I turn the phone on, it's still going to turn itself off. So that's not going to work. So you need to connect the charger. You need uh, this charger ACP12. So, connect the charger to the phone. I may have to wiggle it a little bit to make a good connection there. Right, so once you have a good connection, the phone uh, will start to recharge. So uh, the power is on, but the, the phone is off, but the power is on because it's showing the battery recharging. So that's what you want. You, found, you want the phone to have the uh, screen on. So uh, now let me show you the program. Okay, so you need to run this on Windows 98. You need this program called EXTUI Flash and these files. This file uh, will make the connection, will send the loader to the phone 
and these two are the flash files this is the uh, old version and this is the new version of the radio this is the version that causes issues and this is the version that you want to flash so let's start the program all right see here is just um, one two three four five numbers you select your init disk file like this then you select your init data file that is the flash file which is this and you click on step 2 okay so the if the connection is good it will show you the actual information of your phone uh, production dates product codes and version numbers and it will start to upload the um, loader first it only takes a few seconds now it's formatting the flash for the mp3 board And now it's starting to flash the chip it will take about uh, 12 to 15 minutes so don't touch anything don't use the computer just leave it as it is because otherwise the process will fail okay so after the flushing is done you take the charger out and put it back in because during the flashing the phone is turned uh, off so you want to turn it back on with the charger and now you click on step 3 and it will write this information uh, onto the mp3 board Right, if you get this error, uh, disconnect the phone and try again. Right, if you get radio failed, it could mean that your radio chip is dead. So at this point you need to replace that. So this is the radio chip that goes bad this one here you can find this in some other Nokia models or you can try and find a new one online and replace it or if you don't care about the radio part 
or the mp3 part of the phone you can simply short all the legs of the chip on each side but not with each other so this side is separate this side is separate this side is separate this side is separate but uh, all the legs on each side are connected like so so when you turn the phone on it will uh, no longer shut itself off but the mp3 side of things will not work or the radio let's have a look right the phone no longer turns off this is the one with the um, shorted radio chip if you click on the radio button or the mp3 uh, the radio no longer works but at least you have a working phone <laughs>